Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangerosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time we, we are back again on ThemeFX and I like to see uh, some feature really interesting and they're talking about the post-processing in ThemeFX, the, the latest version. And with the post-processing we have the possibility to retime the, uh, the ThemeFX simulation, the fluid simulation and we have also the possibility to optimize the cache you know that using FilmFX we can have a really huge cache and using this way we can scale it so let's create uh, um, a simulation so let's go there, FilmFX and let's create it okay and we do it uh, with 3 meters so we'll have a huge amount and length let's say 3 meters and 8 3 meters so we are talking about a box of 3 meters we need um, sorry we need a film effects emitter we can use a simple source let's move it there okay then let's open the uh, FilmFX interface let's pick the emitter uh, sorry the emitter and uh, we have to say uh, where we have to save the simulation let's have a little bit bigger before and we'll save in a red time cache and let's call it retime okay in order to have the right uh, uh, usage of the retime we have to uh, export let's export the temperature and let's export also the velocity channel okay uh, let's open the preview there and let's start with the simulation you see it's really uh, fast to be calculated because it's not so heavy for the resolution we are not looking at the quality of the simulation it's not important actually I'd like just to see how to use this really powerful feature let's wait until the latest frame obviously we have there the collision with the, with the upside okay that's the result let's go there just to have a little bit less dense smoke just to see in a better way inside the viewport it's just for this thing we don't like uh, the quality but it's not important uh, let's go in the folder where we are saving the cache and uh, return cache and you see that there we have files for a total of not so much you see that the file has maximum uh, 4 megabytes and uh, let's try to have a simulation with an higher uh, resolution let's see for example with 2 uh, let's go for sorry 1 is too much 1.5 a little bit too much let's try with 2 because we don't need to have so much time okay let's try to simulate this one obviously uh, you see it is slower because we have a more detailed simulation and uh, I can stop the recording actually to see uh, how it looks and later we can check the cache together okay the simulation is over and that's what we obtain it you see that we have a lot of detail there um, let's see we are talking about you see frames by uh, also 30 megabytes so we have a cache for a total amount of let's see the properties we are talking about 2 gigabytes so let's go there and let's see what we have inside the uh, wavelet turbulence you see that we have wavelet turbulence and then we have post processing we have the range to uh, uh, choose the cache we are working on and then we have the possibility to optimize the cache 
minimizing the grid and you see that we can exclude some channel from the optimizing process and then we have also the retime so we can choose to retime the cache choose for for example time factor that's the speed so if we like for example 200% speed so the double speed we have to say 2 if you like to have 50% uh, of the speed you have to say 0 0.5 so it's really really simple and you can use also the frame method to choose uh, how to time. I prefer to use the time scale because it's a percentage and it's really really fast so let's say that we like to have a 200% speed up and you see that we have also the adjust playback range so automatically it will change if we have 200% and we have 100, uh, 100 frames we means that we have just 50 frames for the simulation and it will adjust the animation range and the playback to 50 uh, frames but it's not so important so we can stay with this param parameter and then we have to say how to save the new post-processed cache and we'll si save there and we'll call it in the same way retime but we double P to say post process it. Okay, let's go in sim mode. Instead of using wavelet, we have to use post. You see that that's the icon for the post. And let's start. You see that it is working. Uh, it is going uh, really fast because we have uh, 50 frames uh, processed and we have the new frames there. So it will arrive at 100 and we'll have. 50 frames in output because we are using 200 speed up okay that's our animation you see and that's the old one because we are using the default cache let's go to post cache and that's our speed up you see that we have cache just for 50 frames so everything is faster than before let's go also inside the time cache that's our old cache now we have the new one and you see that when it has the possibility to optimize we have some frames with zero and we have less space uh, you see two megabytes less for every single frame and we can do obviously also more than but we are talking about a new cache of just let's check the properties 1 gigabyte. So it's the half because we are using half frames, but we add 2.2 uh, gigabytes. So we have also uh, a 20 or maybe 25 percent less uh, usage of uh, at a HD um, megabytes. So it's really really useful. Uh, so uh, you have to remember that you can use the post processing just to optimize the cache or to retime also the, the cache you calculated using film effects and that's really useful to change the speed of a clip uh, without the needs to uh, redo everything from zero. So for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for a new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye!